everyone. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the line page of our book. Um, the line page, well, after you do the, uh, the simple outline or the minimalist outline of your symbol or image, you're going to be doing the line version of your image, interpretation of your image. Throughout this book, remember, we're going to be isolating each element and exploring its different possibilities. Um, artists use each one of these elements to create a different message or feeling in their work. You can see each one is different and um, helps the artist uh, show what they're trying to convey. Okay. Um, anyways, so uh, you can see that there's a very big difference between the middle of symbol and the line one here. When you start out with this, you must use a pencil. I would suggest using a pencil first um, and drawing things in pencil first and practicing your line first in pencil. Okay, then once you feel really comfortable with what you've got, then you can go use the Sharpie pen that's included in your, in your bag. Um, so anyways, let's talk a little bit about line and the different possibilities with that, okay? It goes, line is much more than just outlining something um, in one, just the same type of line, okay? Line can be used to convey movement, can be used to convey texture, okay? Um, you can see this shows movement. You can also use line to bring things forward and bring things back, okay? You can also use line to create value um, and create uh, more three dimension in your work, okay? So even if you, you can see there's varying thicknesses of line, not all of them are the same thickness. The thinner lines, thinner lines typically recede into space, whereas the thicker line, so to make a thicker line, I would do two smaller ones. And then I would fill it in either with this one or use the, uh, a bigger Sharpie. But these ones tend to bleed, so remember that. This pen does not bleed, which is really nice. So you can fill this in this way. Um, you can already see a big difference here. So you can see that this is very faint, delicate line, uh, recedes in the background, doesn't show up as much, and this is a thicker line that is a lot more bold and grabs the viewer's attention more. Okay, can use the line if you move your pen quickly to create hatching. This also shows some movement, so creating darks and lights. The closer you have the lines together, the darker the value is, right? So if you move your pen quick, variety of lines, values, that sort of thing. So take a look at these examples. You can see the varying thicknesses. You can see they're demonstrating texture and movement and all of those things. I will be looking for as many lines as you can possibly create in your piece. Okay.